In this video, I'm going to give you a video tour of the MyOpen Math course. When you enter the course, you should see something like this. It's that you can click to minimize the announcements so that you can access the folders below. But check the announcements and read the newer ones before you do. Most of the content will be in the folders below, but you can access forums and a calendar in your gradebook from the menu at the top, or on the left. When you're first getting used to the site, you're going to want to go into the Do This First folder. I guess you've already done that since you've <laughs> watched this video. For forums, just click on the linked text there. It'll take you into the forum, and you can click Add a New Thread to contribute to the forum. Notes, such as the Read the Syllabus one, just contain information, so make sure you read those. Assessments and quizzes can be clicked on just like the forums. You can then select questions and do them in any order for the most part. Click the answers or type them in and hit submit. You'll notice that hyperlinks will have special blue font, so you can click on those to get carried out to other sites. Once you've completed the Do This First folder, then go to Course Information. And if you have questions, you can post there. Links for the syllabus and course schedule will be up soon. Links for the textbook are available here. Descriptions of the assignments and structure of the course. other information, a water cooler forum for various questions on policies and just talking with students. After you've read through these folders, you'll then want to proceed in the folders called Experience followed by the number. Please complete them in the order they're listed. Standard Experience is a title, a purpose statement, learning objectives and performance criteria then a plan, and then resources. Resources include a reading, videos, extra tools and simulations, methodologies and vocabulary, and models. There's always a forum in each experience so that if you have questions about anything in that experience, you can put it in there. Check this as you can get extra credit for answering other people's questions. After you've read the resources, then there's some practice questions. Complete the practice questions. You have multiple attempts. If you get that question wrong, you can reattempt it. Try another question. Notice that after three attempts, you'll have to try another question. question was marked wrong. You can now try a similar question and it'll regenerate. You can do this as many times as you like prior to the deadline. The critical thinking questions, you'll probably want to copy the questions and then enter the forum. You won't be able to read the forum posts until you make your own post. So add a post and then make responses. Then follow the directions as they may change depending on which experience you're in. Typically, you'll put your answers in, read the instructor's response, read your peer's response, and then make some sort of a reply to yourself or to someone else. Then we have applications. Many applications require an essay response or a file upload. These questions are not automatically graded, so you'll need to be patient and allow the the facilitator to grade those, but do check back for feedback. We also make use of self-assessments, so make sure you complete a self-assessment and check back for feedback on that. Occasionally we'll need data sets. Data sets will be given in the form of spreadsheets. 
open up the spreadsheet to access the data set. Select the different tabs to access different sets of data for the same set of problems. When you've finished with a file upload, hit Choose File and select the file that contains your response and hit Open, then hit Submit. Those again are not automatically graded, so be patient. Alright, that's my OpenMath site. If you have any questions, then just let me know.